It sure will. Woke me up. All right, who's ready for some girl chat? Yes. Me too. It. Okay, so Lonnie. Yes. I heard you had a very special evening recently. I sure did, Tam Tam. Let's go. The other night I was able to attend the LA Philharmonic opening night oh. concert and gala. Oh, you guys, wow. it was the greatest thing. Look at it really that. was. It's at the Disney Concert Hall. The orchestra started things off with a wonderful concert. Then we went to dinner, and that's where the youth orchestra of Los Angeles played, and it was very, very nice. Now, after they played, a young man who was in the youth orchestra came yeah. up to me, and he saw me. He's like, oh, my God, I'm such a big fan of the Rio. I love oh. you, ladies. So I wanted to give a shout-out to Jacob, and this is his picture. Oh, my God. He's going to love this. Jacob. I didn't tell him. I said, let's just take a picture. You know, and oh, I'm like, so, so sweet. You. That's yeah. the kind of person Lonnie is. If you run into her in the yes. street, <laughs> get a picture. She'll put it here on the I show. I will try, you know. And That's I just want to awesome. say a big thank you to the L.A. Philharmonic and its community partners who provide free instruments, intensive oh. music training, and academic support to underserved neighborhoods, empowering them to be vital citizens, leaders, and agents for change. I you guys love that. that. It was wonderful. It was a wonderful, beautiful event, and um, you know they really treated me nice. So thank you guys for letting me say that. Okay, that is I so awesome. Yes. Speaking yes. of music, everyone's been wondering who's going to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show this February, and we might finally have an answer. Have you guys heard about this? Yeah. Justin Timberlake. Oh. That's wow. right. Us Weekly is reporting that the sexy back singer is finalizing his deal to perform. However, this rumor has upset many people because, you know, they feel that the pop star right. threw, they feel like he threw his partner Janet Jackson under the bus during their last Super Bowl appearance. Obviously, everybody what? remembers that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, we're referring to the infamous 2004 Nipplegate incident where Justin accidentally exposed Janet's breast to the world on live TV, later calling it a wardrobe malfunction. Hmm. Now, many feel the incident stalled Janet's career while Justin's flourished. Justin has even said, really? looking back, he could have handled it better and wished he had supported Janet more. That's stand up. Yeah. That's really cool that he said that. Well, you know he what? He said that later. A year and later. later. Time later. Because I got mad because of that. First of all, we never un understood the term wardrobe malfunction. Until, until then. then exactly. He came up with it right on the spot. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like, it's a wardrobe malfunction. It was like a wardrobe malfunction. I can't malfunction. believe that was like, that was... 13 years yes. ago. And yes. it feels like it was just yesterday. yesterday. I was watching it yeah. live, and I was like, oh my gosh, what just happened? Did I didn't it look like a... It looked like That's a flapjack. It oh. just came out. No I was way. Like, is that... Is it was that really a big, and... What? That's not what I was referring Beautiful. to. I was just wondering if it looked like <laughs> it was. Uh, people keep tripping out that they think it was on purpose. I really think it was an accident. I think it was on well, purpose. I, I think it was question. an accident. Okay, the thing is, though, yeah. I, I thought it was an accident as well until I really saw it. And it But it, why do you have her, to go like sorry, this? Because I can't get that visual it out of my out. mind. What it was, was it? Very, what was it? Break it, it down. Was, it, was, it was luscious. It was... It was <laughs> It was, it was a right there. It was big. And it had an ornament on it. Are so you for talking me, about her? It was bejeweled. It was like a Christmas tree. It, it had an ornament on it. It inspired me to bejewel myself. Is that why you got the nipple yeah, yeah. thing? Yeah, mm, yeah. Okay. Well, this is the thing, too. Right. Once that was done, then because of that incident, we couldn't have anybody until the Black Eyed Peas. They pulled up all the old rock and roll artists, you know, and we was like sleeping at the halftime show. I mean, because they were afraid out. they'd do something yeah. that might, yeah. But I'm like, back in the day, you know, Mick Jagger and all of them, they used to do wild stuff too. And we was like, is yeah. this the best of it? This, so, yeah, this wait. incident was such a big deal, you guys, that this is the reason why YouTube was created. Did you really? know this? I didn't it know that. It is because of this Super Bowl halftime uh, moment. moment was so crazy that people wanted to see it so badly that they actually created the big YouTube game. because they wanted to see what had happened on the to big game. The to replay the moment. To replay the moment. So Got that's why it. they created YouTube. And it's also the reason why we have a 10-second delay. Thank you very that much. shiny button over there that's waiting us to just... Yeah, mess I up. I thought they already, delay. they already had delays, no, though. They had no. delays. Seconds. 
Well, uh, if it was 10, it, 5, you need about 15 for me on well, this show. Had they had the 10 second delay, we never would have seen the actual. Yes. Well, they pulled back though, because I remember, I remember, I remember <laughs> it. That's why I said it was like a flapjack, because it flapped out. <laughs> it's actually and it, a five second back. delay, not yeah, a 10 second delay. Think it's a about five it. Second. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but think about it. If you were the cameraman and you were zooming in for a close up and you got a panda eye in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gosh. Genie and the panda eye. Folks. You would though. It was, I thought. Okay, so uh, let me just get this straight. I still think it was a mistake. Some okay. people are blaming him, say, saying it was real, just because it was decorated. But by the way, if you've had piercings in the past, uh -huh. like I had, but they're always that big. way. It was but, big. But you have body that jewelry. That was a really big jewel. People have that body jewelry. sun. Okay, so you're, yeah. okay. But what he said was, because I remember, because, you know, he said it was supposed to be a red patch, and so the black... You, he was gonna snatch off the black part to and just it, it just red revealed patch? the red. But for some reason, everybody was like, nah, because why would she have that but big old Christmas exactly. ornament on her, you know, boo. No, she had the Christmas... No, it's not a Christmas <laughs> ornament. <laughs> she had the piercing, which it was like a bar Ooh, through it, yes. and then it also had like a, a metal a sun, sun yeah, around it. Yeah, that was an ornament. That's yes, like but a, my point a centerpiece is, the only reason on why breasts. I think it may have been intentional is okay. because how dynamic is seeing a red, like, all that to pull it and then just see a red, red. material. I don't really get what was going to be so wow about that moment. Like, what was you the know point? what would be cool though if he does do this? What if he really want to make it up? She could have her come on the, the yes. halftime. Yes, I, just, I oh, think that, 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 that would be. But I don't think that's gonna happen. No, because well, then they'd have to pay two fees. No, or, no, they don't no, pay. no, no. A they lot of pay. people actually don't know that that was Janet Jackson's Super Bowl moment. She was the headliner. Big game. That was her big gay moment. That was her <laughs> halftime. And she had Justin as a guest. Right. But do you think she'd come back not as a headliner? Do you know what I mean? No, but just because she is an icon. I, I just got it. I got the Super Bowl yes, moment. Could be what big. if big Justin game. comes on <laughs> for the big gay moment? What if, what if Justin comes on and in order, he has Janet come on as a secret guest, but in order to get him back, Janet pulls something off of Justin and we see a little woohoo! <laughs> that, that's cool. Sure and a lot funny. of folks wouldn't be mad at that. No. Okay. You wouldn't want a replay? We will no. never have halftime shows ever if that happens. Okay? I'm thinking, like, what about, like, what about booty crack or something? Yeah. Like, just little, nothing crazy. Like, just a, like little. a little. Or no. like an underwear. You Not know how men call their no, underwear? Let me tell y'all. Like the, a crescent. The, yes. big, the, the whole thing was the person that started the first halftime show ever was the infamous Michael Jackson. Joe. Okay? And because of that, that's why they started doing the halftime shows. And the thing is, is that. Well, Janet is his sister. Look how great yeah. that is. But, but you know, but some things happen, okay? And I just think that it's, it's at that time, it was a time of family. Everybody gets together. That so, is true. So, you know, it was just a moment that everybody kind of, some people I felt felt overreacted. But it is what it is. If he does do it, I think it would be nice if he just had her on as a I guest. Idea. And I that would be nice. And it kind of like yeah. completes yeah. the circle. Yeah. No booty crack. Yeah. <laughs> no I mean, booty I crack. Mean, no booty that crack. he comes back and no booty crack. <laughs> yes. There we go. That they keep it clean this time. Yeah, just Absolutely. keep it clean. Yeah. Make it a great one. <laughs> From a halftime show to a show off, comedian and mother of two, Heather Land took to her Snapchat to rant about exercise braggers. You know what I'm talking about? Like those people who constantly post about how much they're going to the gym. Yeah. So yes. here's a little of what Heather had to say. Just want to thank all you CrossFitters out there for checking in with us on Facebook at 5 o'clock every morning. I'm glad to know how many AMRAPs you were able to get in during your wide before my feet ever hit the floor. You're better than me. Is that what you want to hear? Pretty sure wall balls and bear crawls ain't how I'm going out. Jesus is taking me home in a cocktail dress, okay? Not my Mexican shorts. <laughs> oh my God, I that's so it. funny. Ah! I love her accent. Yeah. Jesus is taking me out. That's a cute little southern accent. <laughs> Heather's video has totally gone viral. And you guys, it's been viewed more than 13 <gasps> million Whoa. times on Facebook. So what? How, how are you guys about people who brag about their workouts? I mean... Do you have a problem with somebody telling you how many wall balls and bear crawls they did? I don't even know what wall balls are. But it, it sounds sexual. Isn't that when isn't that when the wall, the ball is on the wall and you're kind of like squatting? What? Right? This sounds oh, right. You're right. Right? You're right. That's okay. what it is. And That's then bear, bear crawls? I don't know what bear crawls. 
<laughs> I don't know. Either. I like, gonna fake it. I'm I like those videos. videos. I think those videos, for me, they're inspirational. So I don't mind people doing it. I mean, I even, you know, you won't see me exercising, but you'll see me standing outside of the Zumba. <laughs> you know, I'll take a picture of that, like that. See, that's me. That's cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Right, Lonnie. I think there's a difference between when someone is bragging and when they're trying to be inspirational. <sighs> like, you know, you could get it in at, at 4.30 a.m. in the morning, too. Do it. That's The Rock. The Rock does that oh. every morning, like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Yes. You get up, everybody, yes. But I like him because he peps talk, pep talks you See, through it. Pep talk. And, but there's... Nothing wrong with flaunting it. If you got up at six in the morning, if you came home at seven at night and you're trying to let somebody know, like, I'm gonna push it for just one extra rep, and don't lie, anybody who actually posts it, you kind of push it a little bit harder. When you're being filmed? Because you're yeah. filming. You all of a sudden, <laughs> you, like, if it was just yourself, you're like, all right, one, two, but yeah. if somebody's filming, you're like, <sighs> But there was one, think... there was one post that LeBron put up, and this one's hard. He's talking about the core, yeah. and he's on a ball, and he had some weights, and he was like, and it looks easy, right? And so he did, and he was shaking and stuff. I said, he weak? Let me go to the gym. <laughs> Let me try this. I tell you, I fell off the damn ball. <laughs> weights hard. is all over the gym. It's hard. Well, Ugh. I guess I like it when it looks genuine, okay. you know? But if you're, like, in full makeup, have your lashes <laughs> on, your hair done, and you're pretending to work out... Who are you out, talking about? I'm, just people. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, really? You're I not going to work out. Makeup straight from here. That's I was, how I was like, who you talking oh, about? I, I would come for gear when I was getting ready for my wedding. I literally would come straight from work, <laughs> and I was like, if I stop at home, it's a wrap. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. It's just not happening. And, so I would go straight from it, here. You don't do it like all the time. And I wasn't filming it or putting it on Instagram. Well, her hair all down. She ain't got a headband on. You yeah. know, she pierce, piercing her lips. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I will say this. I never filmed it, but my trainer, Masi, did film it sometimes. And I'm not gonna lie, I always went mad, like way harder. Yeah. If I knew she was gonna post it, I would See? be trying to be like, uh -huh. you know, that, know. But that was just for her camera. What I will say <laughs> what? is I hate it when I see people posting all the time but you don't have no results. Oh, oh, oh! I just, I literally see people that post every day and they're like not flattering yes. posts. Like they're in there sweating like, and you're just like, but where's the results? Stop the posting, okay.